Hey everybody, this is Claire and this is Small Joyful Things. As always, I go to thrift stores or estate sales or sometimes I buy things from Craigslist and I'm always looking for just strange stuff uh, when I bring them home, uh, try and find out as much as I can about them and then tell you guys about them. And I have something exceptionally weird for you today. Put that over there. <laughs> so, come on, stay. Oh yeah, that's totally going to be the thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, so what I have here is a pair of ceramic hatchets. <laughs> um, I, I don't really know how best to describe them. They are the size of a full-size hatchet, you know, like you'd use for chopping wood or, you know, like a, you know, about the comfortable hammer size, I guess. You know, I don't actually own a hatchet, so I wouldn't really know, but that seems like what they're about. And they are made entirely, entirely, as far as I can tell, out of ceramic or porcelain. <laughs> and I'm just, I have no idea what to make of them. Okay, so I bought the two of these in a thrift store for, I think, $8 each. Mostly because I was looking at them going like, I can't believe that someone actually made these. And now I just kind of want to take them and wave them about. <laughs> so... I, so I ended up buying them, and this was a few months ago. I ended up buying them because weird art is is somehow compelling to me in a, in a in a very weird way. And I spent a while just kind of waving them around the place. And I have to say that I did find that very very satisfying. Um, I think that the two of them together are actually designed to go up on a wall, <laughs> and that is a very weird thing to put on your wall. But I'm sure that some people are into that kind of thing. Anyway. So this one, I think, is the more interesting one. You can see that it's got little little hearts, I guess, little upside down hearts. I'm not even, I'm not even sure what that's going to be. The glaze has run down a little bit. The interesting thing about these, and, for, and obviously I don't know everything about ceramic, is that ceramics, this is completely glazed. This is not where it would have sat in the kiln. Um, where it actually would have sat, as you can see, under here, it's rough. And under here, the other side of the blade, it actually, obviously, this doesn't look great it hung upright like this and you can see that due to that the glaze has run down a little bit and I'm pretty sure that wasn't intentional I have a feeling that this is actually a student piece you can see the same thing here and uh, the heat here I think is acted on the sooner because of the length of it it's done a little unevenly but the same thing you can see that little bit there it's got some kind of a paper left on it and the same under there that's where it's rough um, it is unsigned, of course, <sighs> but you can see like this is kind of set a little bit, but this stuff is obviously run right down the handle. It's an interesting effect, but yeah, I'm going to say probably students. Um, I have to say I, I've definitely gotten my enjoyment out of them, if nothing else. Um, they are indeed very fun to pick up and kind of wave around. They have a nice weight to them. <laughs> As to what I actually do with them now, I honestly don't know. And I've been looking around trying to see like, is there... Is there like, is this a thing? Is our ceramic tools a thing? Um, fun fact, not really, because this is kind of the thing you can expect. This is a porcelain axe, porcelain hatchet selling for $3,000, blah, blah. Um, that would be kind of a little bit more like an actual hatchet as opposed to these. I think these are quite, quite a bit smaller. You can see there that's selling for $300. And I'm assuming that that's US. And if you want a gold-plated ceramic hatchet to hang on your wall and there you go. Not sure I'm a fan of the orange. Um, I have looked around quite a bit on Google and I'm afraid that like it, there just isn't really a whole lot for ceramic tools of any kind. It's just not really a thing and if you actually do a lot of Google searches for this and you actually put in things like, like ceramic tools, ceramic axe, ceramic hammer, that kind of thing, you start to get into actual tools for shaping pottery, not whatever this is. So definitely a lot of keyword poisoning going on here. And I'm afraid that there's not really a whole lot I can do about that. I did, however, find these just looking for porcelain weapons. And I have to say that this is the wildest stuff I have ever seen. And I'm kind of into it. Just, I mean, look at that. <laughs> Let's see if I can get a better picture. Let's see. Uh, the axe is the very cool one, I have to say. Why are you not... You're not, yeah, no, okay. Can't get a better resolution. The, this is just like, I, <laughs> what what a combination of styles, I have to say. Artists mix porcelain weapons to explore what it means to be a, 
needs to be a woman in the scene. Like, I just, I kind of like that. Like, it's the, this is a flail, um, or, you know, spiked, spiked, uh, spiked chain, you know, spiked ball and chain kind of thing. A bit like a flail. Obviously the grenade, the double-plated axe, which as far as I know was never an actual thing in medieval weaponry, but still fun. And then a baseball bat with spikes. I love the mix. It's just, yeah. So if nothing else, at least finding these led me to finding these and look, <laughs> it's a machine gun, but it's got the style of blue porcelain. Yeah, you know, that's, that's fun. That's nice anyway. So considering what I actually spend on them, how much are they actually worth? And the answer to that is, who knows? They're a complete mystery. And I'm afraid this is going to be a very short video because there's not really a whole lot you can say about them other than they are just honestly very strange. They're <laughs> the weirdest kind of art. And they're kind of fun to pick up and wave around. I mean, you can tell somebody just kind of cast a hatchet, you know, in a mold of it or whatever and then made a pair of ceramic hatchets out of it. Which is, you know, I mean, props to them for trying something new and interesting. I hope who that, whoever this artist is, I hope they are succeeding in life because they clearly had some interesting ideas. So again, sorry for the video being so short. This is just the kind of weird stuff I kind of sometimes find around Vancouver and I find that I end up having to spend money on it. I'll probably be donating these back to a thrift store. Someone else can enjoy them, hopefully. Maybe they'll put them up in their wall. So here are my small joyful things for the day. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.